because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with Mark Dickinson. Burtley Boggs and the Burtley boys are on tour, it seems, in Newcastle, man. Good fighting for you uh, on Saturday night, man. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling relaxed, feeling uh, confident, and um, just ready now for Saturday night. Obviously, I've just, you've just done a photo with the North East Boxing right now with the prospects that are on it. You've got yourself, you've got Pat McCormack, you've got Callum French, you've got Cyrus Patterson there, yourself. I mean, North East Boxing looks, the future looks bright. Yeah, so they call it the future of uh, North East Boxing. I call it the present. We're in North East Boxing right now and um, we're coming through to take over. What's going to happen on Saturday night? Like I said, I, I spoke to you two weeks ago when the uh, Redson O'Hara Davis fight. Uh, you were ready, you were sharp, you were happy to be home back up at Burley Boxing. So what's going to happen Saturday? Saturday night you're going to see uh, um, the best Mark Dickinson so far. I've said it a few times, but um, no, I do believe. I'm, listen, I'm confident, I'm relaxed and I'm ready, so let's get it on. Obviously this is your first professional fight without Ben, ben Davison in your corner. Like I said, you're back home. There was no blood, blood. you went through all that. There was no blood, blood between you and Ben as to why you left. But your first professional fight without him. Um, so what's changed in this training camp then? It's just that the, the happiness of being home and being up the road. Um, I went back to scratch on my boxing. So um, it's going to be a bit of a different style this time. And um, I'm looking forward to showing and case my skills on Saturday night. Obviously the Burley boys, you're, you're, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Maybe not rough, but you know how to fight and you like to go for it. Is that sort of like what we're going to see on Saturday night? A more controlled, aggressive... Mark Dickinson? Um, listen, you can walk into Berkeley Boxing and you see 10 different boxers and they'll have 10 different styles. Select southpaws, come forward fighters, outside fighters, inside fighters. and um, So it's just going to be good to show, to show what I can do on Saturday night and I'm looking forward to it. I don't want to give too much away, but um, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, being in the North East, you've seen the crowd here. Oh, this is just the public workout here at the Metro Centre. You have the press conference, you've got the weigh-in. How much do you enjoy these fight weeks anyway, as a professional? The whole fight week with everything that's involved? Um, to be honest with you, I'm not really the biggest fan of like all the media and the public and all stuff like that. You know, I'm just ready to do my job on um, on Saturday night. This is part of it, you know. So I get on with it, I do it, and uh, I enjoy it. And that's good for the crowd and the people that come out and see us. And um, but I've just got my mind focused on Saturday night, and that's what I'm looking forward to. To be honest, Mark, if you're going to be in this professional boxing game for a long time, you better get used to these cameras in your face. Um, yeah, Eddie Hearn's next generation. Like I said, to you, I mean, the start with young talent from the northeast. Obviously, there might be a thing like who's the next world champion. I think the world champion from the northeast is long overdue. Do you think we'll see multiple world champions back to back in the northeast with yourself, Pat McCormick, and Cyrus Pass in there? Um, every single one of us has got ambitions to be world champion and I do believe every single one of us can go in and do it. And like you said, there's not just one or two, there's four, there's, there's, there's four or five of us that could possibly go in and do it. And um, I've, got, I've, got, um, I've got a lot of faith that we're going to go in and do it, yeah. What's going to happen Saturday then, obviously? No pressure being there, that's, uh, in the North East, that Metro Arena. Lewis Ritson's flew that flag for a long time. It seems like they're here on crop now to take over that flag. So what's going to happen Saturday night? What can the crowd expect? Um, the crowd are going to expect a Mark Dickinson win, definitely. I'm going to showcase my skills and um, I'm going to show that I'm levels above Ben Ryden's in the fight on Saturday night. There's levels to boxing and I box at a higher level from being 12, year, 12 years old than uh, he's ever been at and I'll show that on Saturday night. That's what I'm saying, Ben's a good fighter in his own right. It's a tough test for you going into Saturday. It's not an easy test. He's been there for some decent fighters. There's, 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 it's a tough test in that, but um, I believe the level I'm going to go to is levels above where Ben Ryden's is that. I'm just ready to show it on Saturday night. Well, listen, hopefully all good all Saturday night. Go and enjoy it, man. And uh, you've got a smile on your face, which is good to see. So it looks like you're enjoying your boxing. So, Mark, thank you so much, brother. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, man. Perfect. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.